briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1825, the Supreme Court of the United States grappled with a unique legal conundrum concerning the jurisdiction of the Admiralty Court in a case we now know as the Steamboat Thomas Jefferson. Central to the case was a wage dispute related to a voyage from shipping port to the River Missouri and back. However, the wrangling wasn't over the wages themselves, but rather which courts had the authority to rule on such disputes. The crux of the matter lay in the long-standing tradition the Admiralty Court held. Jurisdiction only over maritime contracts and services substantially performed on the sea or waters within tidal influence. The voyage under scrutiny, however, was hundreds of miles upstream, far above the reach of the tide. The district court, in its initial ruling, had tossed out the case, declaring it did not fall within its jurisdiction compelling the plaintiffs, the libelants, to seek redress at the higher court. In its decision, the Supreme Court upheld the ruling of the lower court. Through the voice of Mr. Justice Story, the court emphasized the historical limitations of the Admiralty's jurisdiction. The voyage in question, occurring well above the tide level, simply didn't meet the criteria for a situation governed by maritime employment. Thus, they concluded, the libelance case could not be heard within the purview of the Admiralty and Maritime Court, reaffirming the lower court's dismissal on grounds of jurisdictional reach. The ruling underscored the intricate nature of legal boundaries and raised questions regarding the reach and limitations of different courts. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law, elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.